my dad for inspiring me with like each project because all their projects are based on immigration and how families are separated and my dad being coming from Mexico as an undocumented immigrant he inspired me to create artwork based on that and he's just like my inspiration and he like stays up with me sometimes when I need help with ideas or if I need help like writing paper or cutting paper to certain sizes or spray painting like he's always there for me and he, he's just there to motivate me whenever I need it. Welcome to part two. Last year, as you may recall, I won an award for my self-portrait. And we're back again for a movie poster and my illustration of a nice parrot. So uh, again, thank you to my parents. See, this is going somewhere. Um, los quiero mucho y gracias por todo. And well, I'm just gonna say I'm grateful again that um, you know my projects have been acknowledged and what I've sort of worked for, I guess, you know, was worth it. Cause I'm really slow at working on these projects. So and I'd be there after school. I drag in class. So it's nice to, you know, have that time not wasted. Thank you. Basically thinking about how man actors must have such an easy job. I could do that anytime. And then like I'm writing in camera. Right. I can't even do it. <laughs> hey, my name is Grace Casentino and my ink piece won an award in this and um, my inspiration was just I really love fashion and I really love how models are portrayed which is why my background is a bunch of newspaper articles and pictures because that's how the media portrays fashion or how each different piece portrays fashion and I would just like to say that art is just it means a lot to me it's just it's calming it's relaxing and it's a great stress reliever and it makes me happy so thank you to everybody and thank you to our teachers Hi, my name is Anna Spinoza and my collage was inspired by some, some of the things that represent me and some of the things I enjoy doing. Uh, my piece was me expressing myself and letting my creativity wander. Um, I would like to thank some of the art teachers because they let me express myself while doing something that I love. Thank you. Hi, my name is Allison and this is my drawing right here. Uh, my drawing uh, I got it. I actually got it off of Pinterest, and it was. I just wanted to do a fallen angel, so I did a fallen angel. And the designs in the back are just because he's like in like falling from the sky. So there's clouds, and I try to make it look like clouds. And then there's like a little flowy one. And at first I was thinking it's like it's like water or like some type of like liquid that's just like flowing down with him. And yeah, this is for my. Our teacher, Mr. Carpo. Thanks to him for like always being so nice to me, and yeah, <laughs> being so nice. Yeah, that's all. Art to me is not only a way of self-expression, but it's also a way you view yourself or how you view the world. Um, art can convey a certain message you want to put out. Kind of like with writing, you use um, words to express things, um, while with art, you express it visually. So, in my project, uh, The Floating Man, I kind of thought about like how to bend and like while having some idea of like what a human is. So, having like a basis of the focus on the face and slightly around like the torso and having like a little bit of like forward down background with like the legs being more, f more faint than others. Um, and also, I kind of like how there isn't really much like a black or a white. It was more of like between grays, and I was mostly tweaking on the little bits of edges and corners that like a little bit of the collar has and like the little, the neck. And the, when I was making it, I kind of had some fun doing it. It was truly interesting because in my first. Art or art one, I was more focused on like patterns, and but like in num in art two, I had more focus on like body compositions, and I wasn't really like it didn't it wasn't like struck with bodies, but like slowly, and that way I kind of felt more immersed into making bodies, and and like when I go back and see them. I kind of like 
get a little joy from them. It's, I don't know, it's just pretty fun to like s slowly work up to a point where you feel happy about it. Hi, I'm Josh. You don't know me, I don't know you, but, well, I'm here now. So, um, I guess with my artwork, it's just that, <laughs> I guess it's like, whenever I do artwork, it's just I try to go for like the weirdest possible combination of colors, I guess you can say. Very, you know, usually it's like, oh, colors that I guess you wouldn't normally see together, and... You know, I usually also try to go for that sort of like old VHS staticky feel, which kind of, I feel like it adds a sort of timelessness as, as, you know, what also inspires me with, you know, with my artwork is like, you know, lo-fi music or even, you know, outrun culture, vaporwave culture, it's, you know, it's just a lot of retro styles that kind of inspire me in my artwork. I guess also one of my also one of my major inspirations is you know a, like a series of pieces by Andy Warhol where it was like basically like a it's you know it, he described it as a sort of sunset which was just like you know a circle and then you know just like a circle with some random color and then the background was also a color that sort of contrasts the circle I guess I don't know it's just kind of it's you know, it looks so simple, but it, it you know, it's effective at what it does. First up, I would love to thank my family and everyone who supported me throughout my creative journey in my art classes. Originally, I wanted to be a drawer, but I found a really good passion in sculpting. And originally, this project was supposed to be for my aunt, who is one of the greatest people I've ever had in my life. And I'm really happy that she really liked it. Originally, it was supposed to be uh, a different dog, but you know, I just went with it and started tinkering around and made it the best that I could and I really enjoyed making it and it took really long so I'm glad that it's <laughs> not <laughs> My name is Molly Cash and I'm a junior at West Leiden. My work is about things that I enjoy and things that inspire me. I love art because it provides me with a creative outlet to channel my thoughts and emotions into. My future plans are to study animation. Winning this award was exciting because it was one of the first ones that I've gotten and it came as a big surprise to me. I'd like to thank Ms. Felix and Ms. Nix for being so helpful and for supporting me. Thank Ms. Reed, because without this field trip, I wouldn't be able to take the picture. Um, I grew up in Chicago all my life, 16 years, and that's why I like Chicago. That's 
Hi, I'm Jolie Martinez, and this is my artwork right here. And both of the gold key artworks were like taken at the Joliet prison. We were on a field trip for a photo, and it was a really rough day because it was very rainy, and everyone was like soaking wet. We tried even um, wearing like raincoats and bringing umbrellas, but that didn't help us. But we did get like two or three minutes in one of the jail hallways, and that's where I got the pictures. And it was an overall fun experience. Um, I would like to thank Miss Reed for helping me out, for doing everything and giving opinions for photos because I wouldn't have those nice looking photos without her. And yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, I've always been a creepy kid growing up, and I really wanted to show through my art, uh, whether it be like abandoned places or through my special effects makeup. Um, overall, I just want my pieces to have that creep factor and really wow people and make them be like, what is that? What am I looking at exactly? So what inspired me to paint a amygdala was this artist, his name was Kikuddy, and I really liked this picture of him. He was like looking up, so I decided to make it different by having two of him upside down and having the middle part where they intersect each other as like a brain to represent something. And since his music is both sad and happy, I wanted to represent that by the different colors that he is painted as. And I would like to thank Miss Reed and Miss Rosen because they really inspired me to go outside of the box and do something different with my paintings. For my piece, I kind of um, thought about the perspectives of insecurities and I was like oh well you know maybe I should put it in this piece because you know a lot of people go through insecurities and a lot of colors that deal with insecurities is more like a dark red and a black and usually a gray to kind of show like a gloominess of the emotion and also I picked a fox for the mask because you know foxes are sly and usually they kind of hide away from people and people with insecurities they try to like isolate themselves a little bit from um, society so then people don't see their true selves and I chose a girl because usually in, um, in my perspective that women usually go through a lot of insecurities more than men. I don't know if that's scientifically true, but to me it is because I go through a lot of insecurities. I don't anymore, but I've kind of seen through it, so I'm not really a fox anymore. I'm kind of like, you know, a horse. Because horses, you know, like to be outgoing and gallop around forests and stuff. So, yeah. Hi, I'm Victoria, or Vic. I, I make art. Uh, I've been making art since I was really little. I just thought it was fun. and I think for me, the biggest, like, what I like the most about the art department is that I can just play, and that the teachers will give me the, the tools that I need to do that, and just try different mediums, try weird stuff with those mediums. Like, I never thought I'd be making uh, work on cardboard and cutting up the cardboard, but that worked well enough to where I uh, actually won a few awards on that piece. And so now I'm working with, I like color, so I think colored pencil is a great way to go. Uh, paints, various kinds of paints are very fun to use. And I just, I'm glad I got the chance to play around with them and make, use weird colors together and just make it look interesting. And to draw these like, different shapes and different draw myself in different ways to where I, it's expressive in a weird way, using that space, using that color, using that medium to really tie everything together. Making this piece, I had got the idea from seeing a lot of artists from like online and Pinterest and a lot of people posting on Instagram. They were burning the flowers and it was mostly roses and they were burning them until they were black and kind of like crinkled together. So I thought if 
I would use more flowers together and what they would look like if you actually got the shot of it burning while it was happening. So I got the idea for that for my first project of AP Photography of the Year and it was appropriation so we were doing that and I had put a whole bunch of flowers um, on a bunch of bricks and we were outside and I'd like to thank my mom for not getting mad for almost burning down the garage and for my boyfriend almost lighting himself on fire to help me. <laughs> so everything worked out and I had a whole bunch of really good pieces for it. Um, but that really kind of inspired me to get more into photography, seeing how those came out. And I began to really get into it and I started really loving it to the point where I started applying to colleges as an art major and a minor for it. So I, can, I got into a lot of colleges that I had applied to. I got into all of them from my head. I did from my art pieces. And <laughs> I then decided to do that as a photography fine art as a minor. And then I'm going to be majoring in forensic psychology. And I thought that the two would really help each other out. And yeah. Hi, my name is Juliana Damien, and the painting that I created has to be one of the first things that I can say I'm truly proud of making because it took a lot of hard work and time, but I'm really happy with the results. Um, I just want to say thank you to all the art teachers at Leiden who make art fun for us and are really dedicated to making sure we improve our skills. You guys just watched my video. I'm losing my voice, so that's why I'm kind of like, I sound kind of raspy, but... Um, I made the whole video on my phone for the first time ever, and it was kind of challenging, but we still did it, and um, well, I recorded it, and I edited the music on my phone, too, with GarageBand and iMovie, and I also used um, my mom and my aunt to record it in the freezing cold. It was, like, so windy, and we were by the lake, and, like, my hair was going everywhere, and, yeah, it was really cool, and... I would like to thank my teachers for helping me and supporting me and getting me out there and pushing me to do it. And I'd like to thank my parents and my family for um, <laughs> for uh, helping me. And uh, that's it. In the future, I would like to pursue rapping and writing. And I also want to be a movie director and an actress and act in my own movies. And I love... Um, like, I love the camera, I love spotlight, I love working with um, the behind the scenes, and I like being in front of the camera, and <laughs> uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Amarisa Chenique, and oh, <laughs> I was going to say for today's video. Um, so my idea for the distorted and like cut up faces came from this one drawing that I made a few months back of, of Johnny Depp and I was kind of frustrated with it and I didn't like it and then I ended up just ripping it out of anger and my sister collected it and she gave it back to me a few days later and I looked at it and I was like wow I can actually make something out of this so I um, painted a canvas and glued it all together and it just kind of looked good so I started making more things like that where I draw something and then I cut it up and then I put it back together. Um, um, <laughs> I originally was like doing pan paint, uh, paint to talk about. Oh hey. Hi, I'm John Leva and I just want to say first off thank you for giving me the award. Secondly, I've been given a question. What does art mean to you? Personally, with, personally for me, art is a way to express yourself and to express a lot of different things. Express emotions, yourself, someone else, your life. But personally, I believe art, art is a way for you to give other people the chance to allow them to see your world. How you see the world. That being said, on to the next person, I guess. 
Hello. Um, pretty much with art, I, I've been adventuring in it for about six years now, ever since I was 11. It's been a really huge influence on me ever, ever since I watched a really weird cat video that was animated by a bunch of random people. I thought, hey, that's really interesting, that's really cool. I want to be an animator. I want to do this kind of stuff. So from that point on, I drew cats. Really, really bad cats, but that eventually evolved to people, to YouTubers, and then finally to my own kind of OCs, my original characters. And I'm just currently here now at Leiden, kind of mainly focusing on finding my kind of uh, art style and where I really want to take my art to the next level because I'm really good at graphic design. I've taken uh, graphic design one, two, animation and motion graphics, art production, and now I'm a uh, doing AP Studio Art, so I'm kind of just venturing in all the aspects I've had and kind of putting them into AP right now. Um, music video? Mm -hmm. So it was from this like really, l not lame, but like it was a popular, uh, what was it? Like fan base, Warrior Cats, oh my god, it was just about cats. Like it was just literally like cats in a forest. There was like, um, what is it? There was like the fire clan, there was like the wind clan, there was, there, it was just a clan of cats. And they were all against each other. And there was something about spiritual cats, like, I was so hyped into it. I was like, this is great, I love cats. So hi, I'm Dani, and I am really into art. I've been doing art for most of my life, and I started by drawing in my dad's books. Even though he liked to read them, I just drawn them. So I started doing that, I developed that, and now I'm really passionate about it. I really love it, and I hope that one day I can become a real professional artist. What's up, y'all? Uh, so uh, I just want to give a quick thanks to the whole art staff. They have clearly moved me to go further with all of my pieces and bring the images I thought only were in my head to lifestyle other people can enjoy them. Uh, this piece is probably my most um, favorite piece I've ever done uh, and that's just because of you know the, the everything I just had a really good day when I shot this. It, it all blended perfectly and I ended up getting something that had a deeper meaning to it in the end. And I just want everyone to enjoy that. Uh, follow me on Instagram, BigAbe77AR. Um, I will DM me if you want. I do photo shoots if you want. Like, you know, it's cool. Hit me up if you guys just want to be friends. I know a really good Taco Bell. It's on Harlem. Uh, it's it's fire. Trust me. I know it's Taco Bell, but like, still, it's not Mexican. But like, it's it's food. You can digest it. So what inspired my piece was my personality. So I have kind of two sides to myself. I have like a calm side and like a more like mysterious, not mysterious, but like, you know, a kind of evil side. So I kind of wanted to capture that through my, my art piece because in one side is kind of more realism, more soft. And then as it translates to a colorful piece, it kind of has an inner body thermal to kind of show my emotion that's kind of hidden within. Almost looks like a blooper. Oh, okay. So, to me, art means being able to create something without using words. Or, you know, it can be a way of expression as well. I think art and art classes in general help me a lot, like, to get off my mind and get and help with my problems and yeah uh, our class like help me relax a lot and they're really fun too they make me feel good so yeah that's what i like <laughs> um but <laughs> oh my god i don't like that all right so um my name's alfredo and i'm an art student um i do like comic book art and that, that's kind of like what i like doing so yeah 
So uh, one of the pieces I won, Rats of Cicada, that, that one was a, I guess, a bug type project where we had to pick a cicada and then like portray in however way we wanted to do it. And the way I did it, I kind of reminded myself that like from uh, DC, The Flash, there's the comic book villain Cicada. And so I decided to just base him on him, but then just make him like an actual cicada. And so at first, I didn't really know like what to do exactly. I know I wanted to do like a pose and like a cicada, like he was flying, but I didn't know about like the background and stuff. But since I figured since he was a villain and villains are usually more like in the city type base, I decided to just do a whole bunch of surrounding buildings. Hi, my name is Summer Lawrence and I'm a senior. And I want to say thank you so much to my parents and all my teachers who helped me, especially Miss Reed and um, Mrs. Rosen. Uh, I just want to say thank you to them because they always push me and help guide me with my art. So for my investigation, I wanted to focus on um, black and brown lives in America and just how they live and what they have to go through on a daily basis. Works as like an AP art student is sort of based off like um, my love for music, specifically um, K-pop and how it's sort of, it's sort of what I go back to uh, when I've sort of lost that inspiration, as well as like, I also have other stuff that I go back to, like there's specific movies that I watch. Um, I guess I wouldn't really have found that passion for graphic design as well if I hadn't taken the graphic design class here at Leiden and um, also you know, I wouldn't have found that passion for editing as well if I didn't take photography. Um, and that's really sort of what's pushing my work is sort of like all the stuff I've learned here. And it's really exciting since I'm going to be able to go into graphic design, which is something I'm like so passionate about. It's like a passion I didn't even know I had until I got here. Um, and yeah. Hi, I'm Lily. I'm a senior here at West Leiden, and I'd like to say a huge thank you to all the art teachers here at Leiden, more specifically Miss Nix, Miss Felix, and Mr. Lappy. Throughout my four years here, they've made me feel more uh, like part of a community rather than just a student in their classes. And I'd also like to say a huge thank you for all the opportunities they've given me over my four years. If it wasn't for them, I don't know if I'd be in a place where I was today where I could win awards and scholarships for my art. Um, I'd also like to say a huge thank you to them generally because they've made me not only a better artist but a better person and I'm going to forever be thankful for that. So thank you guys for my four years here at Leiden and making them so special. So what's interesting about me doing art is I didn't really want to do it at first. I just, I just got placed into it freshman year and then I didn't really enjoy it at first. But then like, like I wanted to be like a whole architect before and then things changed in my life and I'm like huh I like doing art and then I decided to like continue on because I took photo one freshman year so I continued taking photo two and I'm like I should like doing this you know and so then I started rethinking my like career plans I'm like I want to do art but I want to be realistic at the same time because there's always that like like thing behind it where like, people are like, you're not going to be successful in art. So I'm like, huh. So I want I want to be like a creative director in the end, right? And um, what's exciting about that is I do my like photo shoot things with friends and like what I enjoy is just like the connections I make, like friendships that I make and like just how fun it is. And like I want to like be able to like do that um, in the future. And I find that interesting that like I'm able to succeed and really enjoy what I'm doing without having it be like becoming an engineer and stuff like that. And like I'm not I'm not really scared of the future and that's what's exciting about doing all this. Hi, my name is Giselle Rios. In my art I like to take what I see around me and basically add my own twist to it. However, my main reason for being here are the people who surrounded me. This is my first year entering my art in a competition and I'd like to thank my teachers, classmates and family. I appreciate them for showing me how to let my creativity flow freely and how to believe in myself. Without them, I know I wouldn't have had the courage to do this. Thank you. I'd like to thank my family for always motivating me to do new things with my art. Um, they're always 
complimenting my work even though I don't like it and they're always trying to make me better at it and I'd also like to thank all the teachers here at Leiden especially the art teachers for giving me advice how to switch up my work and just to constantly improve myself so my photos take the basics of photography and they kind of push them to the limit and I want I would love to thank Mr. Lappy for being there uh, throughout my high school career. He helped me out a lot with anything I needed to know in art or photography. He was always there for me and helping me um, solve problems and just find solutions and improve my skill set. Hi, my name is David Trito and my work mostly relies on beauty. Uh, my inspiration mostly comes from traditional paintings, but uh, it's mostly a hybrid, a hybrid of representational art and abstract art to form my own understanding of it. Um, so my pieces were something that, well, most of the pieces, especially my recent pieces, are something that I put a lot of time into and thought. So um, I would just like to thank all of the art department and specifically my art teachers that I had, um, like Miss Reed and Miss Rose and Miss Nix, because they've seen the growth between all of my pieces. And I've went from just ordinary um, flower photos in photo one to black and white for uh my second and third year and then going and trying to do color film and then I was like yeah this is cool but now then I just moved back on to black and white and then now to something that's totally different with actually the importance of color <laughs> which Miss Reed would probably like well you're actually doing color because uh, I used to never do color I just everything black and white so I just like to thank them they, uh, they helped me grow as an artist and um, kept making me expand on what I do you know, so I don't get stuck and just continue doing one thing the rest of my life. Hello everyone, my name is Victoria and I'm a student at East Lane High School. Thank you so much for coming and looking at all these beautiful works. Um, I started photography back in freshman year and I just fell in love with it ever since. I really enjoy it. I love combining uh, the different pieces of photos. I love working with Photoshop and changing up the different um, elements of my photos. Um, in the future, I hope to maybe continue something with art. I still don't know. I still have a few more years to decide, um, but I want to do something that I continue to love every single day. Thank you so much. Sophia Costantino. I am an animation and motion graphics student. I mostly motion graphics. I work a lot on After Effects, a lot with um, zoom, zoom outs, flip spins, all that jazz. Um, I've loved it since 2016, end of 2016. Um, I saw an edit um, of a TV show and I got really inspired to try it. And I tried it and I've been going strong ever since. Um, I'm in love with it and I still am in love with it and I'm happy I still have the opportunity to continue the course. Um, so, I want to thank Miss Nix for helping me get my basics with graphic design and animation motion graphics. She's helped me a lot along the way, and I couldn't do it without her and a lot of tutorials on YouTube. So, yeah, thank you.